Hello, Comrade Kerman here, and welcome to this first episode of The Road to Flutog. This is a video series I intend to make uh, as I build a Flutog glider, which I hope to one day enter into the Flutog competition. At the very least, I intend to build a flying model that will lift me, hopefully. This is a one quarter scale mock up which I've built that is weighted to scale. I spent uh, about an entire semester in school building this. Uh, the dimensions are one quarter scale, that means that it has a seven and a half foot wingspan. The uh, full scale model is going to have a uh, full scale aircraft is going to have a 30 foot wingspan. So this is seven and a half feet. The weight that it's going to be carrying is four pounds which is a one quarter scaled to mass equivalent of 100, uh, sorry, 250 pounds. These are uh, four pound weights that I strapped to the bottom. Uh, four pounds of ballast doesn't sound like a lot, but when I lift this, this is heavy. Like it's really, really heavy. I, I do think that this is a proper weight for scale. I am very curious if this is gonna fly. It weighs a lot for its size. I wanted my wife to come out and film for me today, but she is working. And this is the first time the weather's cooperated in about three months. Weather's perfect. I got a nice, probably, probably uh, six to seven, you know, probably more like five or six mile an hour wind that we're going to throw it into. Uh, because I'm filming on my own, I'm holding the camera, I'm going to chuck this with my other hand. So I'm not able to use the radio. I do, however, have a horizontal stabilizer with an elevator attached to this that is controllable by radio. And I've given this about 15 to 20 degrees of up elevator, which I am sure it is probably going to need. I did small scale testing with this with a significantly lighter weight attached to it. I used a, a three cell 3200 uh, LiPo battery as a power source for that single mo servo back there. It was mostly for ballast to figure out where the CG is and it flies beautifully when it doesn't weigh very much. Uh, so I don't know what to expect with this four pounds strapped to the bottom of it. I want to get some nice video of it because this is probably going to be the last time it's going to be in one piece. I completely expect this to shatter when it hits the ground. Hopefully it does not catch a wingtip and it might actually survive. I don't know. I've kind of, in my own foolish optimism, strapped a uh, very simplistic landing gear to the bottom of it, but I don't think those landing are going to do anything at all. So we're going to hold it above our head. It's up here. Whew, man, this is this is quite nerve-wracking. This is probably gonna destroy about three or four months worth of work, but this is for science. This is the launch of the one quarter scale model at approximately 30 feet in the air scale. Here we go. I'll try my best to keep it in frame. I'm literally chucking this with one hand and holding my phone with the other. Oh, here we go. Let's see what it does. And toss. All right, well, could have been worse, I guess. I am going to, we definitely caught a wingtip. Surprisingly enough though, the damage is not that bad. All right, we're probably gonna manage to get another test. We're gonna have some damage here, but this isn't bad. Uh, yeah. That flew about what I thought, that's about what I realized, what I think my real size flu is gonna fly like. Uh, seemed a bit tail heavy. We'll try moving the, uh, the nose weight forward a little bit and uh, giving it some more up elevator and we will reset and try again. And we'll make a second video when we do that. End of first test, plane survived. Let's move on to the second test.